So we're here at Bella Vita 2016 in London and we're talking to Phil Howard. So Phil, how are you finding things so far? Uh, it's fantastic, you know, it's one of those, uh, generally speaking, over my years as a chef, I don't get out as much as I should to go and, to go and, to go and see, see products and see new products and see suppliers. And, and the reality is, you know, you come to some, somewhere like here, not everything's going to be for me, but it's, you always, all you've got to do is take away one fantastic thing and it's going to be a success. And there's a lot of phenomenal producers out there, a lot of great products. Um, they're not all applicable to, 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 my, to my end of the market, um, but certainly I've seen some fantastic, um, fantastic producers and, and inspiring people. Any producers in particular you'd like to talk about? I tell you what I, I, I thought just it was just so lovely to see was seeing the burrata being made by, I forget the name of the company. Is it La Latteria? I think it was, yeah. Um, it's just, you know, I've eaten my fair share of mozzarella and burrata over the years and, 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 and love it and appreciate, you know, the, 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 the real quality of, a, of, a, of, a, of an artisanally made product. And, um, but to see it made was just, it was just really special, you know, when you see somebody producing it, they're making it in London, um, it's inspiring, you know, it's just one of those things, you, it reminds me, I've just written the menus for my new restaurant, and I didn't put mozzarella on the menu, um, and, uh, and I think having seen that, I think, no, do you know what, I want to, I want to, it's lovely to see people like that, because you want to support them, and use their product. I'm sure it'd be delighted to hear that. Um, so, could you tell us a little bit more about the new restaurant, opening in September? Yeah, I've got a new restaurant opening um, uh, in September called Elliston Street, on Elliston Street in South Kensington. Um, uh, and it'll really be um, how I and, and my, my partner, Rebecca, um, see a, uh, an ambitious uh, but accessible restaurant uh, being in 2016. You know, things are very different now in London to, to, to how they were when I opened the square. Um, I have, I'm, a, I'm 25 years older and where I am as a person, where I am as a chef, where London is, where Londoners are, has all moved on and so I think what we're trying to do is, is still is open, a, still a highly ambitious restaurant but pitched in a way that Londoners will want to frequent on a daily basis. So fantastic cooking, but simpler, wonderful hospitality in a, in a, in a, in a comfortable but sort of quietly sort of contemporary and urban environment. Fantastic. Is there anything in London in the culinary scene at the moment you'd like to highlight? Anything new that excites you? Um, God, there's a lot of stuff going on in London now. Um, I'll be honest, I tend to still favour, um, you know, I love, for example, the River Cafe is the restaurant that I still continually pick out. Um, you know, I've got no agenda. I go, I eat at lots of restaurants, and, and the River Cafe, more than any other restaurant, serves me food that stops me in my tracks and and and, and makes me acknowledge just how delicious it is. Um, uh, but I also love the fact that there's so much coming out now in terms of variety, smaller, more modest, interesting um, uh, uh, operations. Not necessarily the street food, but you know, once upon a time, if you wanted to open a restaurant of note in London. You had to have a deep pocket and find yourself a prime West End spot, um, you know, with, with 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 great frontage and good footfall, and, and 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 now actually, it doesn't matter where your restaurant is. The whole internet, mobile phones, has meant that you're accessible whether you're tucked away down a back street or whether you're on 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 Bruton Street in Mayfair where we were, and that's enabled young, ambitious restaurateurs, chefs, and and and, and front of house. Um, it's, it's much more achievable for people to open a, open a venue, and so there's a lot more uh, openings now of, of individuals uh, doing things that have got character, independent, um, and they're not all successful because young people don't always get everything right. Um, but it does mean that the restaurant scene is full of character at the moment, which is which is exciting.